Hello. This is a simple tutorial showing how to install TrueFont in editable mode, um, which is a mode um, that installs from GitHub and allows you to make changes to TrueFont and then see those changes by relaunching TrueFont without reinstalling. And the advantage to this over installing it from the executable or from pip is that the installing it from GitHub is um, just as easy and you get the most up-to-date build of TrueFont. So to get started, I have um, a TrueFont directory with nothing in it, just an install text file. So let me Text. Here's our install text file. Um, there's not a lot of steps, so this is pretty simple. And as I, I have another video where I show you can just chain all these steps together. Um, you kind of um, chain things with uh, double ampersand, so that way each thing will execute, and if that thing finishes it successfully, it'll go on to the next thing. So you can really install this um, just with one command. Um, okay, but so to start off, um, let's see. Um, you can do, um, Python version to see which version of Python you have installed. So I have Python 3.6.4. You can also do um, Python 3 version, same thing. So I'm just gonna use Python 3 because um, that's what I have a habit of doing, but you could also use Python, which is Python 3. It's Python 2, it's so confusing. This is why I, really like working with Rust because the, the, whole, um, the whole build routine with Rust is much simpler. Anyway, um, okay, so we're gonna make a virtual environment. Um, we have all our Python dependencies installed um, globally on this computer, but we don't want to install any of these dependencies globally because we're gonna, they're gonna get updated and deleted and it's just simpler to have everything contained in this one virtual environment. So we can work and make mistakes and as soon as we're done, we just delete that directory and it's a clean slate. Um, so to do that, we do um, Python 3 dash m, and m means module. So it's just, there's a Python module called venv, and we're just calling a module. That's all, it, it's a little confusing. Um, and then I'm just gonna call it um, true font venv. It's because it's descriptive. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. Okay, so now we have a new directory. We can cd into that directory. And we've got a bunch of stuff here. Um, there's the bin, which is um, scripts that we will, there's various scripts in here. The main activate and activate fish are for activating the virtual environment. Um, we'll just be doing um, source activate. But if you're using the fish shell, which I really like, um, I'm not I'm using the fish shell, I'm using uh, ZSH here. Um, but if you are using fish, you have to remember to type activate fish, which can be a little confusing. I was using, when I first started doing true font development, I was using fish, so I think that's good to know. 
so let's go back one and let's just do um, source mm, activate. Okay, so now you see this little indicator saying we're in our true font virtual environment. So now if we do pip list, um, I need to get, I need to remember how to get rid of that error. Um, but anyway, we just have pip and setup tools installed and those are our only dependencies. Um, to deactivate it, just de deactivate. And it's deactivated. And it's activated again. Okay, cool. So we are in the virtual environment. And so when you activate it, there's different ways to do this. A lot of times people have like a directory where it's like, these are all my virtual environments. They're over in this area. I activate them and then I work in separate directories. Um, I do that sometimes, but for things like this, I usually like to just put what I'm working on in the, I don't know if this is the best way to do it, um, but it's what I do because it's easy because I can, I put what I'm working on in the virtual environment directory. That way I delete the virtual environment directory and it deletes all my working files. And that way I don't get confused about like what virtual environment was I working with when I was working on this. It's always like, I know that if I'm using that virtual environment, the things I'm using are in the virtual environments directory. So, um, let's see. Oh yeah, so now all we need to do is clone the um, uh, clone the repo from GitHub. And this is, there's a, like when you're on GitHub, you'll see there's that little like clone from GitHub thing. And so that, this is the same, uh, thing we get from that. Let's see. So we get clone. There we go. So now we have a true font directory. We can cd into true font, and there's the root directory. Um, there's a requirements.txt file, which um, has all the dependencies in it. So um, to install that, we just do pip install grade um, requirements.txt and um, so now what we do is we just install it in editable mode And I think this is gonna, okay, so it says successfully installed, but um, I think one of the dependencies is out of date. So when we try to run true font, I think we'll get an error. And we do, and that looks really scary, um, but it, you, what you have to look for is it says UFO lib is out of date. So all we do is we just go back to our um, pip install upgrade and we upgrade UFO lib. And so when you're when you're installing TrueFont this way, like 90% of the time, if you get an error trying to run TrueFont, this is the problem. Like one of the dependencies is out of date and you just have to know that all you have to do is figure out what's out of date and upgrade it. And this is also why I love Rust, because in Rust, all this happens automatically, because there's like the cargo.toml file. And 
Oh my god, it's just, it's so beautiful. I love Rust. Um, anyway, let's see. So now, hey, now it worked. <laughs> 